dead elk coolar right at the junction between the dead elk and the dragon tail. And I am uh, using this new Brooks Range saw that I've just gotten to test. It's a uh, collapsible saw, which is so far my favorite. Carrying case seems really durable, protects the uh, contents of the pack from the sharp edges. So I'm doing a bit of a compression test here on a 30 centimeter wide column. I do have it marked real nice there, 30 centimeters with a double dark line. And so I'm making my, making my pie wedge here on the inside of this column. And we're getting some pretty dense snow down here at the bottom. This is uh, cutting through it no problem at all. I'm going to isolate this column, 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters square. The information that comes out of a column test, compression test like this, is not a decision-making tool out here in the backcountry. Snow is so highly variable. There's a lot of other information, starting with the avalanche danger, Colorado, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. It's so working with the CIAC avalanche danger rating on this slope currently is a danger rating is for considerable danger, which means human caused avalanches are probable. So there you have it, the Brooks Range 35 centimeter scientist collapsible snow saw. And this will be the saw that I'm taking out. Spindrift blowing around up here this afternoon. We'll do this quick test and get the heck on out of here.